I'm the artist Johnny Montgomery uh, from South Carolina originally. Retired from the military, stationed at Port Frag. Uh, retired from the 82nd Airborne Division. I took an interest in the Seminoles and the Freedmen culture because I was born in South Carolina and I understand there was a lot of Gullo, which uh, I'm a descendant on my grandmother's side and my dad's side. The escaped slaves that's from that area, I understand a lot of them went down to Florida and joined the Seminoles. So I learned a lot about John Horse as well. Uh, John Horse was an interpreter in Florida. He was a warrior. And when he came to Oklahoma, he settled near the uh, waterfalls area. And that's why I did the waterfalls. I included the waterfalls as a symbol of uh, him selling the Wee Walker. John Horse went on <clears throat> to Mexico after he learned that the Creeks, they had to settle in Creek territory. So once they found out, John Horse and his group with Wildcat, another Seminole, Wildcat was a Seminole leader as well. When they found out that bounty hunters were coming back to put them back into slavery, then his group picked up and went through Texas and on to Mexico. And John Horse came back across the border, well his people did, because he'd settled with Mex in Mexico and he was part of the Mexican army for a while. He served in the Mexican army. Some of his group came back and scouted for the U.S. Army. They called, or were called the Seminole Negro Scouts. And some of their family members are still in Brackerville, Texas today. And some are still in Mexico. And that's the conclusion about John Horse Payne.